I remember one film I worked on opening, we went into this theater and it was empty. It was like five people in it and like you could hear dialogue that I'd written like bouncing off the empty walls of the theater. You know, after that, like, oh, this is a brick and, and it's gonna hit hard on the ground. I know for me, at a couple of projects, I was trying to get up the ladder. And then when the recession hit, boom. I spent a lot of that winter just like curled up in my bed, looking out the window at snow, learning how I was gonna raise the money to pay the rent. But it was definitely a time where you began questioning the choices I'd made about being an artist and having this lifestyle. I think that's always what's interesting about when you read biographies of artists is that we see the final product, uh, the crystalline product of many refinements and revisions. But that journey is grimy, it's, it's struggle, it's dirty, it's painful. I met Misty at a cocktail party, of all things, and um, I was struck by the physicality. And I think that's been part of my interest in why I really pursued the film A Ballerina's Tale, which is a look at the life and career of the soloist Misty Copla. I watch ballet, you can hear the feet land, you can hear the, the feet twirl, you can hear the, the on point how that sound makes. The artist athlete, the person whose body is their instrument. Great artist, injured at the height of her powers, and then watch her struggle to build herself back. I mean, that's just a great tale, period. I don't care what journey you're on, especially with the film, you need help. And uh, for Ballerina's Tale, we believe American Express's participation and support is gonna help us get the word out and, um, you know, helping us get this thing finished. Think about it like that journey it's about how do I manifest my creativity in a way that's fulfilling? That's what I'm about. I love it.